What's up guys, it's Supercar Fragilistic XBL Dishes here, and today we are going to be going over um, CMD and um, how to shut down computers on a local network. This also works if you have the IP address of the computer and if they are connected to your network. So it's not just um, computers with names, because you can obviously type in the name of the computer, um, but also the IP address works um, uh, just as efficiently. So, all right. So there is a simple command that you can put in for shutting down a computer. Um, the basic command would be um, shutdown. And um, the reason I'm using a touch keyboard right now so that you guys know um, what I'm typing down so you know the correct one. So when you type in uh, shutdown, and I think space Q, and it'll give you a list of commands. Now this is a lot. But you can all customize this if you put shutdown I. And you can customize um, how you want it to go. Alright, so... Alright. Now, uh, when you... This is how... Let me just start over again. CMD, uh, when you press in the shutdown command and uh, slash R or I think... Um, uh, so uh, uh, it was a different um, link of commands. You basically shut down your own computer. But shutdown I allows you to access the local network of other computers that um, are connected to your network. So if you type in, um, go down to the stupid command line, um, shutdown, shut down, I, did, I spelled that wrong, shut down and then you put in slash i it'll be prompted with a dialog box this dialog box um, uh, sometimes it fails if you don't put in the computer name correctly or if um, obviously you um, try to shut down your own computer sometimes it might put in an error actually no it works all the time if you put in your own computer um, but I'm not going to do it to my computer um, right now because if I shut it down, I won't be able to show you guys uh, what I want to show you guys. Alright, so right here is going to put computers. Now to add a computer, you simply type in the computer name. I think in Windows 7, not Windows 10, or I think the dialog box is exactly the same, but I'm pretty sure, in, I forgot, in some version of Windows, you could put in the IP address of the computer, and it would still register as the computer name. So we have that down, this is just to type in the computer name, and you can check out the computer name by going into Settings, About, and it will show you the computer name plus the MAC address. So pretty efficient. Now what do you want these computers to do? You can type in multiple names, um, if you guys didn't know. You can type in multiple names, and you can shut down, like, if you're at school, obviously, you can take down an entire, your entire school's network if you know the name of all the computers. So, uh, we can restart shutdown or annotate unexpected shutdown. Uh, this, I have never been uh, quite sure on what that is about, but I usually just start with restart, so it would be kind of like a prank sensation, like, it shuts down, oh, what happened? And then it just boots back up again. So, but pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, shutdown event tracker. This um, comment, this field is required for the reason you selected. Uh, it's better if you check out planned and you put in uh, loss of network connectivity unplanned. Uh, that way you have an option of putting in a comment and you can stay uh, sort of, you know, uh, anonymous or something like that. <laughs> so, you put in comment, and let's just say you can type in anything like lol 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 or whatever. When you shut down the computer, um, there will be a little dialog box saying, uh, you know, uh, lol lol lol, you, you got a hack, bro. And uh, that's basically the remote shutdown dialog command. Uh, I just want to note this is for educational purposes only. I am not responsible for any damage to infrastructure that you cause by using this command prompt. Um, in fact, I haven't even told you guys how to access a CMD because CMD is actually blocked in some school uh, um, in some school networks. The command prompt is blocked, but um, 
if you're running a computer running Windows 7 or Windows XP, that can easily be bypassed by um, system registry files like regedit or and um, changing the um, directory names from shift keys to CMD. So, yeah. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a super cat, Fazer, like, XBL, Day.